Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Well, we continue on with our onshore flow with winds that are light and plenty of fog. Fog has reduced visibility in many locations below a mile, in some cases below a half a mile. And that's also leading to overcast cloud cover all the way back into the interior. Now, we are seeing some clearing taking place around the Poconos and off towards the Catskills leading to sunnier skies this morning, but really the rest of the region, cloudy, foggy, and kind of cool out there with temperatures ranging from the mid-50s to lower 60s, mid to upper 60s as you head off towards the areas where we are seeing clearing skies. On our surface map, you can see high pressure building in from the Atlantic. We have this low pressure system down here, which we'll talk about in just a second. It's a tropical disturbance. And then we have this area of low pressure and these cold fronts approaching from the west. These cold fronts will consolidate into one strong cold front that will move through on Friday. Now, take a look at this satellite picture. There's a lot to talk about here. This will probably catch your eye. Now, we're waiting on the NHC to say something as of this morning. So far, no report yet. But there is a lot of observations suggesting we have a close low here. It certainly looks very impressive on the satellite picture. And winds range anywhere on the buoys, anywhere from about 30 to 45 miles per hour. So we may be looking at a tropical storm here making landfall. Just haven't had any uh, response or notification from the NHC as of this video. But it looks like whatever this is, it's going to be making landfall and making for a very stormy morning along the South Carolina coast with very heavy rainfall and strong winds. Now, this system is going to be lifting up into the Carolinas and heading towards, say, about west central Pennsylvania by the time we get to tomorrow. The moisture from this system will support the potential for scattered showers for our region by tomorrow. Some of these showers are going to be capable of some tropical downpours, but the way that this storm is organized when you get a close low like this, typically what happens is that your heaviest, most widespread rainfall is focused around that decaying low pressure system. So the bulk of your rainfall based on the data we have right now would suggest more towards western Pennsylvania. Then all of this mess off to the west here, which will form a stronger cold front, will march its way through the region by the time we get to Friday with widespread showers and a few thunderstorms capable of some strong wind gusts as well. Closer to home, you can see plenty of low clouds in place, very foggy morning along the coast. So let's dive into this forecast for today. Look for that fog to slowly lift this morning, giving way to scattered or broken cloud cover. Temperatures will rise into the upper 60s to lower 70s on the immediate coast, lower to mid 70s everywhere else. For tonight on through tomorrow morning, still a threat for some fog, some locations locally dense with the threat for a few isolated showers. Look for low temperatures to range from the lower to mid 60s. For tomorrow afternoon, look for scattered showers capable of some tropical downpours and some very heavy rainfall in some spots. Look for temperatures to range quite a bit on Thursday from the mid 60s on Long Island to the upper 60s to mid 70s everywhere else. Now on Friday, our cold front will be moving through with showers and a few thunderstorms more widespread in nature. Temperatures will range from the mid to upper 60s for lows, and high temperatures will range from the mid 60s to lower 70s on Long Island with that southwesterly wind coming right off the Atlantic, and mid 70s to lower 80s everywhere else. That cold front will finally move through the region on Saturday morning with some lingering showers followed by clearing skies in the afternoon. Look for lows in the mid to upper 60s, highs in the mid to upper 70s, on Sunday, high pressure will be in complete control with clear skies. Look for lows in the upper 40s to lower 50s, highs in the mid 60s to lower 70s. On Monday, high pressure will move over the region with clear skies expected. Look for lows in the upper 30s to mid 40s, high temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. Rather chilly for this time of year. On Tuesday, high pressure starts to exit with scattered cloud cover, lows in the upper 30s to lower 40s high temperatures in the lower to mid 60s and on wednesday a warm front will approach the region with scattered showers expected look for lows in the upper 40s to lower 50s and highs in the mid 60s to lower 70s 
That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen B. Martino. And as always, stay safe out there.